What we have today are plantain treats. This is part of the video series on healthy eating. Thank you so much for coming. And how is everyone? Great, great, great. I'm just going to ask today that we just get our minds around a new idea that we can pick and eat fresh herbs and spices and vegetables that are presented before us in a way that is acceptable to us all. Okay, so now with that being said, we work with plantains today. Now plantains from the banana family, although it's a distant cousin, we're going to saute these in such a way that they, we give them a nice brown color. And to help us do that, we're gonna use a touch of agave nectar, which is a natural sugar. It's still a sugar now, so if, if there are sugar issues, they still apply. So we're gonna cut these into like, into what we're calling planks, and we're gonna saute them. And what we'll do is we have a little Saigon cinnamon and just a touch of agave nectar. And the agave plant is better known for tequila. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is what tequila is made from. So we'll just, a little, a little cinnamon. Just a little olive oil. A capful is just under a tablespoon. I mean, two capfuls, I mean. We'll get this process started. We're using uh, uh, kale and red cabbage. Although you can see this looks purple. That's what they call it, red cabbage. Uh, colors mean something. Purple, in general, carries more antioxidants than just about everything in this room put together. Just about. So let's turn these babies right quick. Oh yeah, just like downtown. So we will drop this. And then we'll follow this quickly with the kale. I have a zucchini and uh, yellow squash for the vegetarian top. We're gonna start our chicken, sauteing our oil, getting our oil hot. This chicken is seasoned with just a little garlic. So anytime we handle raw chicken, or actually any raw meat, but chicken in particular, you have to throw, wash everything before you do anything else, including these gloves I'm wearing. That's going great back there, I can hear it. In a minute you'll smell all those herbs that are in that water. And the herbs, the fresh herbs I'm using today are oregano and thyme. And uh, oregano, most people are familiar with, I'm using two we're familiar with, uh, is in, in uh, marinara sauces or spaghetti sauce. That's where, and it just lights the room up. Thyme is your base seasoning for poultry. But if you limit it to those two things, then you're missing it. So if, if our goal, for like for instance, is to say back up off of salt, then what we want to do is add other flavors so you don't miss the salt as much and still enjoy it. We'll just add something different. Now some people say you won't miss salt. They are lying to you. You're gonna miss it. If you're into it, you're gonna miss it. But it's not the end of the world and it's a learned characteristic. Just like you learned to like it, you can learn to stop. And you just win yourself off of it by using less and less. So now what I'm gonna do with these, with our, holy moly, cabbage and kale, is I'm gonna toss it in a little rice wine vinegar and then just a touch of sesame seed oil. Best cook ever. My plate is almost clean. <laughs> Great. This is the only menu I ordered. I will order it. 